Dengmar says, nipping is a form of engaging. I know Warwick has taught that. I get that. I've seen that video. Gosh, you know, it's situation dependent. I would say for the beginner or people new to horses, don't tolerate any nipping whatsoever. It's you're, you wait a little longer to sort that out a bit better. It is a form of engaging, obviously. Uh, yes, but is it a positive or negative engagement? Is it a desirable or undesirable engagement? That's person dependent. So, for example, actually, it's, let's get into this just a smidge. But take Mr. Wild. He's constantly sort of bugging me on my jacket, right? We've seen that. I've done videos of it. He kind of nips. I mean, the previous comment was about biting somebody as they go by or biting another horse. That type of engagement, yes, it's engagement, but it's negative and terrible and not a good idea. It's dangerous. Where I'm standing next to him, we're both kind of peaceful, and he's sort of just lightly sort of nipping at my jacket. That's different. And and to that, I see it is a fine line to walk where you accept that horse's nipping, where you say, okay, you can play with my jacket just a little bit. It's like watching him and Roni, but you know, we both know. And if Roni says he's had enough, then he'd better listen. So going to accept nipping light nipping, light nibbling with their lips, not teeth. Teeth are never acceptable. Don't ever accept it. Lips, you can play with it. If you're going to take this road, if you're going to break the rule, which I recommend for now, don't, but if you're going to, then practice stopping it. Like practice encouraging it. I mean, just looking at these two, you know that Luke's going to win this, but you know that Luke is going to say, I've had enough. So what, I'd, what I would say to that is, I highly recommend you, if you're going to do this, break the rule, you practice stopping the behavior as much as a little bit more than what you are accepting of it. So you can accept it, do it a little, even before, even if you're having fun, practice stopping it. Say, hey, that's enough. And make sure that they, they stop and be quiet. And then you can encourage it back by playing with them again. So you can nip them, they'll nip back, you nip them they nip with your fingers, not your mouth, obviously. If you engage with them, it might go away, was the second statement. Nope, actually, if you engage with them, you will probably encourage it. I'd say 95% of the time, you'll just encourage them to continue to do it. You really have to be clear with the communication. If you don't want it to happen, say no. Get no to mean something. And if no doesn't work, if your words no don't work, then you need to clap or get big or make a noise or do something that says no. Half your words mean something though. I think it's horses can learn vocal commands, especially basic ones like no or a tone of voice, that kind of thing. So there you go.